The best bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring 24. Welcome to Luxfy, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the best bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring 24. Fashion month has come to an end, so it is time to see the best bags from Paris Fashion Week. Brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton and Valentino presented amazing bags that will be super popular next spring-summer. So without further ado, here are the best bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring 24. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxify.com. Dior for her Spring 24 collection, Maria Grazia Cutie wasn't inspired by a single thing. Instead, she continued her mission of bringing feminism and modernity to the storied brand. The collection was very classy and elegant, with bar jackets, A-line skirts and suits, all with a distinctive Dior style. As always with Dior, there were a lot of feminine dresses with two and florals, but there were also some structured and serious garments showing how Cutie understands there is not one stereotypical style for women. She's presenting different pieces that can be worn by different women with different tastes and styles. As for the bags, there was a certain heaviness and seriousness to them, juxtaposing with the delicate and feminine styles we usually see from the brand. The Dior Toujours made several appearances in different sizes, showing this new bag is here to stay. Of course, the beloved Lady Dior made the rounds in some beautiful variations bejeweled with crystals, but also in classic black. An old favorite, the Dior book tote was showed in neutral colors that combined with the weight of the collection. A new top handle bag was presented in different colors and sizes. It is inspired by the house archives and would be an amazing work bag. Another new bag showed was a rounded flap bag with a beautiful CD clasp and a leather crossbody strap. This collection continued with Maria Grazia's feminist legacy in Dior. It was elegant, serious and quintessentially Dior. Givenchy for Spring 24, Matthew Williams presented a collection filled with classic Parisian fashion, with many of Givenchy's classic coats, like big shoulders, classic tailoring and evening wear. He was also inspired by Givenchy's original muse, Audrey Hepburn, presenting dresses that were redesigns of the ones she wore. Parisian Chic describes the collection perfectly, with beautiful dresses, coats and, of course, bags. The beloved Givenchy Voyou is back for another season, in many sizes and colors. There is a new clutch adorned with flowers and belts that might be the next it bag for going out. But the standout piece of the collection was a top handle briefcase with a belt closure that was also showed as a tote bag. A beautiful chain bag with a metal clasp also made the rounds, again perfect for evening wear. Overall, the collection was elegant, classy and understated, and I love it. Loewe Stepping back from the surrealism we are used to see in his collections, for Spring 24, Jonathan Anderson presented his take on Norm Carr, all with a Spanish flair, of course. He was focused on day wear and wanted to bring a new silhouette that was, at the same time, classic and modern. Perhaps the defining piece of the collection were these high-rise pants with a mini corset built in. It exemplifies how Loewe's norm core is not boring at all. As for the bags, the standout piece was the new squeeze bag, first presented in the fall collection. It will be back for spring in new colors, sizes and materials. The puzzle photo was also presented, as was the Paseo, both new icons of the brand. A bucket bag was also showed in suede and leather with a metal clasp, representing perhaps a new quiet and elegant era for Loewe. Overall, the collection was about classic pieces in new and unique silhouettes, all with a Loewe style we know and love. 
Hermès. For Spring 24, designer Nadege Vanet showed what quiet luxury actually is. The pieces were elegant staples for easy living, just an elevated take on everyday clothes. But the focus of the collection was leather. The colors were all typical leather colors of Hermès, and the clothes had either special leather detailing or were full leather coats and dresses. As for the bags, there was a mix of Hermès classics, but also with some new and of course quiet pieces. A leather briefcase was shown in different sizes, exemplifying how beautiful simplicity can be. A hobo bag with a frontal zip pocket and a snap hook showed on the last fall collection is back for spring in all the beautiful leather shades of the collection. There were small pouches and big totes that mixed leather and palm leaves, creating the perfect high-low mix for summer. The Kelly made an appearance in the form of a shoulder bag, and the classic Birkin bag was the last bag showed in the collection. This collection is what we expect and love from Hermès, quality pieces that can be worn next spring-summer, but also for years to come. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Valentino In my opinion, no one is doing ready-to-wear like Pier Paolo Piccioli for Valentino. The collection was about feminism and showing the body not for others, but for yourself. Along with the beautiful dresses and tailored pieces we usually see from the brand were dresses made from a cut-out embroidery technique that created a kind of fabric. It was not a decoration, but the structure of the dress itself. As for the bags, the standout piece was the new V-Logo Moon Bag. It was showed in many sizes, colors and materials, all amazing for spring-summer. There was also a slouchy top handle with a V-logo that is super chic, as well as a shoulder bag. As I said, no one does ready-to-wear like Valentino. This was a stunning collection that I won't forget anytime soon. Louis Vuitton For Spring 24, Nicolas Gisquier presented his take on the functionality of clothes. He said, Vuitton is a luxury brand, but it's about function. It provides a service to travel better. Mobility is important in clothes. The collection was about everyday clothes that are far from simple. It is not about norm core. It's about light fabrics, easy to wear pieces that are still extraordinary. The bags were classic Louis Vuitton, from travel bags to fill with all your needs to small clutches you could pack easily. The standout piece for me was a new take on the Alma bag, with a belt closure and a slouch design. This would be the perfect everyday bag. The new Louis Vuitton Go 14 was presented in black patent leather and in black and white leather, proving this one will continue to trend next seasons. There were an assortment of iconic Louis Vuitton bags with new details, like the pochette, the side trunk and the papillon, proving the classics will never go out of style. The assortment of bags the brand presented this season did not disappoint. You can always count on Louis Vuitton to bring some new exciting shapes for the new season. Miu Miu For Spring 24, Miu Miu is taking us back to school. Miu Chia Prada presented a vintage-inspired preppy collection that ranges from blazers and Bermuda shorts to ruffle skirts and polo shirts. The collection presented outfits for the pool as well as for a party, all with the Miu Miu flair that is so popular now. As for the bags, they were all overflowing with shoes, clothes and knickknacks, resembling how one school bag would be. The Miu Miu pocket bag was showed in an oversized version, in brown leather. There was a new bucket bag in leather, showed in different colors and sizes. The Arcadia bag was presented in both smooth leather and matelassé, proving this Miu Miu icon isn't going anywhere. A fan favorite, the Wonder bag, is also back for Spring 24. 
Overall, Miu Miu is continuing with their streak of creating it accessories that are not only instantly recognizable, but also instantly desirable. Chanel Chanel's Spring Summer 24 collection, designed by Virginie Fiard, was inspired by Villa Noailles in the south of France, with its terraced gardens and avant-garde architecture. The inspiration can be seen in the graphic tweeds and floral embroideries of the collection, all with a laid-back, casual style. A bag that was showed in different colors throughout the collection was a mini camera bag, an homage to Karl Lagerfeld that once photographed the villa. Chanel flat bags, in tweed, leather, and with top handles were showed. There were also tote bags, embellished with sequins in a woven material and a Chanel 22 in striped leather. I have to be honest here, I don't know what to say except that this was one of the worst collections I have seen in recent years. I usually love Chanel, but this collection was all over the place. It lacked elegance, sophistication and a cohesive theme that tied the collection together. Disappointing to say the least. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check out my video about the most amazing bags from Milan Fashion Week Spring 24. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!